Turning now to the war in Ukraine, Russia attacked Kyiv overnight with more than a dozen Iranian-made drones. Ukraine says all but one were shot down. And it comes as we learn that the front lines were fortified with new tanks. And that's where CBS's Remy Innocencio is tonight. Ask and receive. Ukraine hyped the first British and German tanks to arrive. Marvelous. Britain matching the publicity. Ukrainian soldiers trained in the UK the past several weeks. Far from any spin and hulls of power, these walls of dirt are the homes of Ukraine's 209th Battalion serving in the Kharkiv region. On the border, the zero line with Russia. Weary soldiers watching the tree line waiting for movement. More trenches you have, uh, the more, more, life you save. more life you will save. We're Their separate. commander's call uh, sign no, is Lynx. How concerned, how fearful are you that this might escalate to nuclear war? I think uh, they don't use nuclear weapons because if uh, they do this, uh, it's uh, a worse uh, end for Russian. Soldiers rotate in for three to five days, enjoying few human comforts, save for resting in close quarters and keeping warm through nights that still dip below freezing. The 209th has crisscrossed Ukraine, fighting Russia's forces. How did Russia's invasion change your opinions about Russia? I used to think they were my brothers. I have relatives in Russia, but the invasion changed it all, says this sergeant. With an expected Ukrainian counteroffensive, this relative quiet may be the last days before the next storm. And as British and German tanks have just arrived, Ukrainian soldiers told us that they are now looking forward to U.S. Abrams tanks to arrive, too. They thanked President Biden, but they also said they need more weapons faster. Nora? Ramey and Asensio, thank you so much.